Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a tutorial for this hairstyle, which is super simple, but that's kind of why I love it so much. It is very sleek and straight with a center part and all the hair behind the ears, behind the shoulders, and I'm also gonna be giving you my favorite trick for teasing my hair for volume and also giving you some tips for when you're flat ironing your hair as well. So if you wanna see exactly how I got this look, then just keep on watching. This is what my hair looks like when I just naturally let it fall to the center. So it looks okay, just a little bit casual and could use some polish. So I'm gonna start off with my Moroccan oil dry shampoo for light tones. I am working with second day hair today, so this is gonna help absorb some of that oil and product buildup and refresh my hair and also give a bunch of volume, which is what I love dry shampoo for the most. So I'm spraying that onto sections around the crown of my head, holding my hair up for a second so the product can start to dry and then I'm just massaging it into my scalp. You almost want to think about it as washing your hair without the water and the dry shampoo that I have also has some subtle violet pigments in there so it cancels out brassiness and yellow tones in your hair and just kind of brightens up your blonde color in general which I think is what all of us blondes are looking for so after I've sprayed that on in layers I'm going to give it a quick brush through and then straighten my hair. I'm using this flat iron that came from the new me curl jam set and I've sectioned my hair half up half down so I'm gonna go through the sections on the bottom and just try to angle them towards my face I do have a ton of layers cut into my hair to help blend my natural hair with my extensions a bit better but when I'm just rocking my natural length I like to straighten it with this curved under inward motion it helps blend all of my layers together and make my hair look a bit more sleek so then I'm gonna take the top section down and because a crisp clean center part is the focus of this look you want to try to get it as straight as you possibly can which sounds pretty obvious but since the rest of the hair is so minimal you really want this to be the focus of the look and be as sharp as possible then I'm gonna take the last two inches of my part and brush it straight back because that's gonna give you more volume than if your part extended all the way back to the back of your head and then I'm gonna finish straightening the top sections I also like to use a fine tooth comb to brush through my hair before I straighten it so Essentially, I'm just following that little comb through my hair with the flat iron and that way you're brushing out any knots before you apply heat to it, which is going to give a much smoother, sleeker result and it also really speeds up the whole process a lot too. I do like to tease my hair a little bit with this style just so it doesn't go completely flat once I put it behind my ears and kind of slicked it against my temples. So I'm going to start off with a little smaller section on the top and just start teasing with the seam comb that I use to part my hair. After I've done one section, I'm going to pick up another one behind it and basically just tease that into the first section that I did. And you can see here what it looks like real time. I'm not vigorously teasing. I'm actually just gently pushing the comb towards the root of my hair which I think gives more volume than just going to town with your teasing comb so I'm actually just creating one giant tease together section which sounds terrifying but it's actually fairly easy to brush out and it still holds its shape longer than if you would tease pieces separately so once I've smoothed over everything a bit, I'm going to add the final finishing touches onto this look. Because I'm still dealing with some leftover damage and dryness in my hair, I'm gonna take my Moroccan Oil Treatment Light. Again, this one is formulated for lighter hair colors. I'm gonna take just a drop and really work that in between my hands and start applying it to the ends of my hair and smoothing them down. So the flat iron can sometimes make my ends look especially dry and damaged, but because this oil has proteins and vitamins, working a drop of this through my hair really adds a lot of nourishment and shine to my ends and just puts that final polish on everything. So then I'll take whatever's left on my hands and just start twisting the product into my ends and really sealing in the style and the direction that I want my hair to go. So you can see from one side to the other, the oil just really helps my hair lay a lot more nicely. So 
sometimes I'll leave it like this, but what I've been doing lately is taking the sides and sweeping them behind my ears and just making sure it looks nice and tidy so there's no little baby hairs or frizzies peeking out anywhere and combing a few pieces over the tops of my ears so they're partially covered and my ears aren't completely sticking out. Then I'll throw it all behind my shoulders and my hair is finally getting to the length where it'll stay behind my shoulders pretty well. But if your hair is a little shorter than mine, you could always pop in some clip-in extensions. And I think this style looks really nice with a longer length and the extensions will definitely help keep your hair behind your shoulders. So that is the completed hairstyle, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I just love the striking simplicity of this style, and I wanted to share it with you guys along with some other tips and tricks. So I hope you enjoyed this video and try this look out for yourselves at home, and thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video.